Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. NOAA has launched a new U.S. sea level rise website. Their website says, in New York, under the intermediate scenario, sea level is expected to rise 11 inches from 2020 to 2050. They have five different scenarios, high, intermediate high, intermediate, intermediate low, and low. So let's compare their current prediction graph to their one from three years ago. Three years ago, their predictions were failing very badly. Sea level rise at lower Manhattan was below their lowest scenario. And in their original predictions, the different scenarios were supposed to start diverging around the year 2000. Their models were proven to be worthless. But instead of learning from their mistakes, they simply hid the old data and created some new fake scenarios, which began diverging about 20 years later. They're using the same broken science and pushing the goalposts out 20 more years. So let's take a look at what's actually going on at Lower Manhattan. Sea level is rising at about the same rate now as was when Abraham Lincoln was president. The rate of sea level rise at Lower Manhattan is about 3 millimeters per year. And according to the New York Times, New York City is sinking about 3 millimeters per year. So essentially all of the observed sea level rise is due to the land sinking rather than the oceans rising. At a rate of 3 millimeters per year, we would expect to see about 4 inches of sea level rise by the year 2050. But NOAA says sea level in New York is expected to rise 11 inches by the year 2050. When they use the word expected, we should ask, expected by whom? They're using the same failed models from several years ago. If they were actual scientists, they would have learned from their mistakes. But they're not scientists. They are propagandists, using their imagined authority to mislead the public. No legitimate scientist would expect to see 11 inches of sea level rise in New York by the year 2050. The data simply does not support that idea. These are not real scientists. These are political hacks working for the U.S. government. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for more than 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.